Forest Master Deciduous includes an asset pack and a geometry node setup to easily generate large forests. To get the forest into your scene, you need to set up the asset library first. Go to Edit, Preferences, File Paths, click the plus icon under Asset Libraries, double click the folder where you extracted the downloaded file. In this case, I put it on a folder called Assets and click on Add Asset Library. Now you can go to the Asset Browser, select your folder, and select the Forest Master Deciduous Library. Here you can find the Geometry Notes Assets folder containing a preset forest curve. Because the forest is pretty big, let's zoom out a bit. And let's set the render engine to Cycles. Make sure to use the GPU, then go to Light Paths and set Transparent to 32 or higher. Now you can drag the forest curve into your scene. Let's quickly set up a sky texture. The individual trees come with the forest curve when you drag it from the Asset Browser. Let's hide the tree collections in the Outliner. When you select the forest curve, the settings for the geometry node setup are in the modifier properties. First up, we have the ground object setting. This makes all the trees adhere to the surface of your designated ground object. Seed is for quick random variations. With range factor, you can control how far the trees spread out from the curve. Tree density controls the amount of trees. With Viewport Density Factor, you can control the number of trees visible in the viewport. That way you can maintain a smooth performance while working on your scene. Activating Viewport Proxy is another way to increase performance in the viewport. Both viewport settings do not influence the rendered image in any way. They are only meant to make it easier to work on a scene with many trees. Random Tilt rotates the trees randomly and Scale Variation scales the trees randomly. Moving on to different tree sizes, you have the same settings for small, medium and big trees, but they're separated for more granular control. Collection refers to the collection of trees to scatter. Range controls how far the trees spread out from the curve. Density controls the amount of trees. And with min space you can set the minimum distance between the trees. Lastly, the tree remover settings allow you to strategically remove trees to create pathways or refine the overall look of your forest. Objects in the remover collection act as tree removers. This also works with curves. Remover range controls the area of trees to remove. To draw a new forest, you can select the appended forest curve object, go to edit mode, delete all vertices by pressing A, X and V, then select the draw curve tool and start drawing. To draw on the surface of another mesh, like a ground plane for example, you can activate surface.